Hope you're all fine. We want to continue from where we stopped in our last class, talking about maturation of planeship. In our previous lesson, we talked about uh, plane shapes such as semicircle, circle, and the triangle. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about quadrilaterals. And of course, when we are talking about quadrilaterals, we are talking about four-sided polygon. And you have them in like number, sample, square, uh, uh, trapezium, parallelogram, rhombus, and so on and so forth. And our objective in today's lesson is uh, you should be able to state the formula for calculating perimeter of some specific quadrilateral, such as square, rectangle, rhombus, trapezium, and so on and so forth. And at the same time, you should be able to state the formula for calculating their areas. As we are calculating the perimeter, we should be able to calculate the area and use this formula uh, appropriately. Okay. Now, you have to recall that quadrilateral are just four sided polygon, like I said earlier, which are square, tra rectangle, rhombus, parallelogram, trapezium, and so on and so forth. And the first one of them is square. You know what a square is? A square is a four sided polygon that has all the sides equal. So, in that case, now we can have this to be length, 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 and length. And that will automatically make the perimeter, like I said in the previous lesson, that perimeter is the distance that around the given figure. So you have your head plus F plus F plus F, which will give you 4L for the perimeter. Okay, coming down to the area. Area is always length times length, and which is given as L squared. And for rectangle, of course, you know rectangle, just a kind of special uh, square. Okay, in this case, we have this one to the length, this one to the breadth. The longer part of rectangle is usually represented as the length. Okay, in this case, we are supposed to do the same thing for the perimeter, which is L plus B plus L plus B. And that will automatically give us we have L plus B plus L plus B. That means we have two L. So the two L plus two breadth. We can factor out the two to have two into L plus B, and which is what gave us what we have here as 2 into L plus B. And for the area, the area is usually calculated by having this multiplied by this, that is less times breadth. In some questions, you can see the breadth to be width. So you are meant to have length times breadth or length times width. And that is what we have here. Then coming down to trapezium. In the case of trapezium, you can have a trapezium drawn for you like this. But in every case of trapezium, there must always be at least a pair of opposite sides that are parallel to each other. And then that parallel sides are what we always refer to our side A and side B. So the other side now, you can have this one represented as M, and this is representing uh, M. Okay, our perimeter now is now the same as A plus N plus B plus M, as you can see here. Just have all the four sides together. Then coming down to the area. Area, like I said all, uh, uh, earlier, that you usually have two parallel sides. So the two parallel sides there had them together. Multiply the result by the height. In that case, now we will be given I H. Then the result you are dividing it by two, and that is what gave us the formula half into A plus B times H. And you can also have it in a situation where the height is missing, but a particular angle is given. Let's say this is angle theta. Then that means we are not using H. Instead of putting H now, we replace our H with N sine theta, that is N and sine of this angle. So, and uh, for the case of parallelogram, we also know parallelogram, more or less a par uh, uh, what is it called? A rectangle. Okay, in this case now, we have this one to be, we can have this one to be length. And then we have this one, we can uh, make this one to the width, which is still the same as probably the breadth. Then from here, let's put it here, we can have it to be height. So what is not the perimeter? Perimeter is also the same as the way we calculated the perimeter of the rectangle, which is L plus width plus length plus width. And that will give us 2 into L plus width. Okay, the area now can be given as when the height is present and when the height is missing. When the height is present, you have it to be just length multiplied by the height. Length multiplied by the height. Or when the height is missing, when the height is missing, this angle must be given. So what then do you do? You 
you have length multiplied by if this is w, then this one also is w. You just have your length times w, then sine of the angle uh, between them. Okay. So far, so good. I want to believe uh, the major quadrilateral we have. Uh, what we have talked about, the other one that we may still want to talk about that you are going to see in the Google Classroom is rhombus. Rhombus is more or less square. So everything done on parallelogram here will also be done on rhombus. Uh, so I expect you to ask as many as possible questions you want to ask based on what I've just explained to you in the uh, stream area of the Google Classroom. And there also you are going to be given as many as possible examples and exercises to test yourself based on what. I've explained to you. See you in the next lesson. Have a nice day. Bye.